All right, how's it going, Nora Crew? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a really, really cool abandoned house for you guys. So, interesting story. We actually explored this about three or four years ago. I have a video from way back then, but uh, the house ended up getting rented out. So, I never posted the video because I thought it was strange to post a video that, you know, of a house that somebody was living in. But uh, the house went abandoned again. The power's now cut. The water's cut. It's freezing inside of here. They actually have a demolition fence outside. It's not up yet, but it's just laying on the ground. So we're here just in the nick of time before this place is gone. Uh, it was built in 1965, this, this home, and it was renovated in the late 80s. So uh, it's been updated, but there's some very, very cool features in this place. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. So without further ado, let's get in here and see what this mansion has to offer. Also guys, I forgot to mention, I'm a sick, so if I sound a little bit weird or I'm like sniffling or coughing, I apologize for that. Um, I got sick on my birthday and I still haven't gotten better, so just want to put that out there before somebody complains that I'm uh, making some weird noises, so I'm sorry in advance, guys. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to start at this absolutely gorgeous front entrance way. We have an, a massive skylight right above us. It's very unique too because we got stone on this one side here. This very jaggedy textured stone. And then on the opposite side, we have a stone wall, like a pebble wall almost. This house has a lot of different curves and arches. It is very, very cool. Would have had probably some flowers here. Would have been super nice. It is crazy though, guys, that this place is getting knocked down. Unbelievable, because this is probably one of the cooler houses. It's, it's a party mansion in my mind. So once you walk in, got this very nice flooring. This looks like black marble right here. And this little closet, I would assume. No doors, so that's interesting. But yeah, this is a very interesting. Uh, the decor in this house is very, very interesting. We got this archway right here. We got like a pillar style trim. I guess at some point it was used as a business. This was here last time, three years ago too. So I'm not really sure, but it is like a 6,000 square foot house. So it would make sense that they maybe used it for something else at one point. But it's not often you see a bathroom right off of the front foyer with a jetted tub. Got some very 80s and 90s tiling in here. This was maybe part of the renovation. I think the home has uh, five beds and seven baths. So we got quite a few bathrooms to check out. Those are cool. This has got to be one of like the widest sinks I've ever seen. <laughs> it's got to be like three feet across. It's huge. Okay, probably two, but you know what I mean? It's, it's big. This room absolutely stinks. I closed the toilet, but there's mold starting all in that toilet, it's disgusting. So we got a nice jacuzzi tub, jetted tub right there. So obviously this is like an entertaining room. This is an absolutely insane room in this house. I, it's not a foyer. I don't think it's considered a foyer. I get, maybe you could consider it, but from the real estate listing, there was a giant bird of paradise sitting somewhere there. And then there was like a giant flamingo, like a metal sculpture. But what's really cool, we got Greg here. He forgot his, uh, his phone to film, so I did. he's just hanging out. But these are hand painted. Uh, images right here, murals, images. By a guy named John Angel. 
But whoever lived here commissioned him to come in and paint these, and they're gorgeous. They're very well done. And we got, I think, two more of them here. But, um, yeah, you can see all the brush strokes. There's still the texture in it. It's very cool. And they're framed. Very, very nice. I would assume it was also John that painted the ceiling here. And I don't know if I've ever seen another house with this kind of feature. It's so hard to capture on camera, but we have this giant, almost a dome-like feature in the middle of the house. It's got clouds and some uh, weeds or plants painted along the edges. This actually lights up too. There's lighting all around it, so it glows at night, which is really, really cool. Um, I'll see if I can include some of the realtor photos to give you guys a look at them, but that might give away the house, so I may not be able to do that. But this is just absolutely incredible. Again, by the same artist. I like this one, I think, the most. It's like an ocean scene. Crashing waves and some very large rocks. He was a very skilled artist, I'll give him that. I like, really appreciate the work. It's very cool to have like a real commissioned piece that's built into the house like this. This is somewhere I believe in probably Paris or France, sorry, not Paris. It's just incredible though. You won't really ever see anything like this in another abandoned house. And the fact that this is gonna get knocked down is just insane to me. So we're gonna go down these hallways now, I think. Um, I kinda wanna keep a consistent pattern of where I'm going. Are these painted on? Oh, even painted on the, uh, the tiling. I just noticed that as well. The tile is painted on, so that's cool. So this is actually quite a big house. This is a 6,000 square foot mansion. Um, so we have a lot to go through here. I would assume that this is probably an office. Usually these wooded rooms uh, are. We do have a, a lot of cobwebs in this house. I'd probably guess that this is original. These um, cabinets here. It's probably held a TV. But, you know, there's not much sign left of what's uh, what would have been here. We have like mouse droppings and like the ceiling, the insulation's all chewed up. This is just paneled, so there's nothing to see there. But it's a it's a quite a big office room. I like the crown molding. That's quite nice. So this is one of the bedrooms. This may, this actually might be the master bedroom right here, to be honest. Kind of weird if it is. It's like right at the front. Got some striped wallpaper, and then we got some diamond pattern wallpaper there. Bed would have gone right there. This was definitely renovated in the uh, late 80s. I think it was 89 to be exact, but you know, we got the updated flooring, we got the shutters here. 
And of course, we got like the, the tinted glass, the gold uh, covered doors. So I'm thinking this is the master, so this would be the master bath. It, I mean, it really looks like it. Look at this crazy black tile. It's like checkered. And there's like little hints of blue in it, which is cool. And they use that up on the uh, tub surround and the tiling around it as well. So that's pretty cool. Got these beautiful gold pot lights. They're massive. I mean, I guess you could call them pot lights. Nice closet, quite large. Of course, just like every kind of late 80s house, we got these very big mirrors. They make the room feel bigger. Little medicine cabinet. This is a cool little vanity area. The sink, got the his and hers. I like the tile, so the tile above here is also the same as the floor tile, just basically inverted, which is cool. There's a theme going on throughout the house. Oh, even this is, I believe, the, oh no, it's the backsplash reflecting, never mind. Yes. Look at these knobs, look at the in These are interesting knobs, that's cool. very cool. Those are maybe some of the coolest uh, faucet knobs I've seen in a really long time. The house is pretty cleaned out, so I don't think I'm gonna go through these co uh, cupboards. Well, they got a bidet. Get yourself a bidet, it'll change your life, guys, trust me. It's a pretty 80s looking toilet to me. I do like the design of them, like the big flush button. You can see there's mold starting in the toilet, which is pretty gross. We do have our master shower right here. Kind of weird that you gotta step in, but uh, it's pretty nice. We do have some rust starting on that pot light, but they really did like their gold um, faucet handles and stuff like that. Again, though, we have a, a jacuzzi tub, so that's what, two jacuzzi tubs so far. Yeah, it's just a very nice bathroom. I'd be very happy to uh, be able to live at this house. I think I said at the starting, um, we did do this three years ago, and um, somebody ended up renting out the house instead of it getting knocked down, so they rented it out for a couple years, and now it's sitting properly abandoned this time. So, it's a shame, but it happens, right? Okay. Very big closet. This seems like this is uh, more renovated than from the 80s, from the 90s. This seems like whoever rented out this house, this seems pretty recent. It's got this like kind of crappier, like vinyl flooring. It's all creaky, not put down very well. It's a big bedroom though. Very, very big bedroom. And it's got its own washroom. So we're up to, we're up to three now. This is definitely still, wow, look at this. Look at the tiles. Is it pink? Yeah, I think it's pink in here. I don't think it's my light. Yeah, I think it's a pink room. We got some pink accent in the tiling here. counter here. It's kind of reddish pink. Oh, look at these faucet and look at these ones. Those are interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is nice. This would have been expensive. This renovation probably cost them a lot of money, guys. Like, a lot. Again, we got his and her sinks. This one's definitely not the master. Because we kind of got this, like, drop-in tub that they would put in. Yeah, these, these are very interesting. These, um... Like the fact that the towel rack matches the knob for the shower is really cool. That was a tiny little. Hmm. What's this over here? Just another closet? Yeah, just another little closet. Probably put their towels and stuff like that in here. So this one also connects to another bedroom. So this was a shared washroom, which makes sense. Um, a washroom of this size, it should be shared. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> Man, the amount of cobwebs in here is ridiculous. So this room right here, from the real estate listing, this was their dining room. They had a, quite a nice chandelier hanging here. But it was like an eight person table. It would sit right in the middle here. Um, the photo of it, funny enough, is actually from right here. So maybe if I can use the, uh, the photos, I'll include that here. But uh, it's very interesting. Now this is a very old looking kitchen. It's got very interesting cupboards and stuff. So we do have the wood panel matched, fridge doors. They've uh, taken some wear, obviously. They're white. But look at how cool this kitchen is. Super unique. These cabinet doors are just absolutely massive. These slide out. Yeah, it's so convenient. So again, I'm not gonna go through every single cupboard door. But look at this kitchen. Very, very cool. Like everything had an idea and it was all thought out. We have a nice little island here with the uh, burners on the top, a little prep area. This could have been a little eating area, like a little breakfast uh, table right here because it's low enough. Very, very cool. Maybe a TV could have been in here. Wow. So then this leads downstairs, which is interesting. I like these with the, uh, the smoked glass. I'm guessing this is the hood. Yeah, this is the hood. It's a pretty nice burner. I mean, it's not old. It doesn't look old, at least. But our microwave and our oven, that's a whole different story. These things are probably still from the 80s, realistically. But if they ain't broke, why fix it, right? This reminds me of Wendy's right here. This kind of curved glass area. I am actually not gonna go over here because you might not be able to see this, but it's actually sinking. It's, the whole floor is tilted like this, going down. And that might be one of the reasons this house is uh, 
going to get knocked down. It may just be structurally unsound at this point. It might be sinking slightly, but it's a shame because this is very cool. Very, very cool. But well, it's just been left in a state of disrepair. And we have an amazing, entertaining backyard back there. A swimming pool. You can see all the big panes of glass for the beautiful sunroom this place has. It's just gorgeous. So Greg just pointed this out, which I think is very sketchy. You can actually see the window is pulling out of the pane right there. So that's how bad this is. That's just crazy. So I do know we have another little room over here. Looks like a brass railing. It is a shame too, because like the home has started to succumb to the elements a little bit. And I think the house did have some extensions put on it because it has like brick and stone, places that don't really make sense. But this is another very, very big bedroom. Again, I think this one was renovated more recently just based off the flooring. But big double doors lead you out to the front, which is nice. What about our bed right there? Nothing too crazy, it's not painted anything crazy, but the bathroom, now this is something very, very cool. Look at this. This is absolutely incredible, guys. We do have some decay starting, but the size of this skylight is just unbelievable. So much natural light, especially in a house right now that has no power. You can see absolutely everything in here. Very, very cool tiling. The pattern on this is very interesting. Got those same uh, like glass lights we had at the front of the house. Same giant sink. With this marble style countertop. It might be actual marble. I'm not sure. Okay, that's gonna fall off the wall if I do that. We got this very big jacuzzi tub once again. Okay, now this thing can move some water. This thing can move gallons, man. Look at the size of it. I feel like this would have been so satisfying to watch the water come out of. Then you have the little shower head also connected to the tub. It's just great, it's so cool. Toilet's been updated for a more efficient one, but boys and girls, we have another bidet. And you know what we always say, get yourself a bidet, because it'll change your life, trust me. Really do like these tiles. <clears throat> I really do like these tiles though. Again, this is just a darker version of this. So that's really cool. I feel like this is supposed to come out this way. But, yeah, somebody's broken this, so. You know, pretty typical shower. We're not really missing out on anything, but. Yeah, this is cool. I do really like this, uh, this bathroom here. This might be my favorite one in the house so far. Okay. I think we've almost wrapped up the top floor. We do have probably one of the most incredible features in any abandoned house I've ever been to. It's gotta be this sunroom, guys. Look at this. Look at it, how beautiful this is. Now, this may or may not have been an extension on the house, I'm not sure, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Like the pine that they used. This looks like, if you've ever been in Toronto to the uh, AGL, I believe it is, they have something very similar to this. And this is just stunning. Like you don't see houses with like a sunroom of this caliber pretty much ever, let alone for it to be abandoned. Like this is a travesty. This too, from what I could see on the realtor photos, they had like a table right here. And then it was like a living area. It was like a living room. It was very cool. The vibe in here was absolutely immaculate. Um, but not only do we have the big panes of uh, glass right here looking into the backyard, we also have 
skylight scattered throughout. And we just got this crazy wallpaper, stone, these beautiful stone, or these beautiful wood arches. Just insane to me. So. It's, it's very, very cool. Like, you don't really see stuff like this ever. It was crazy to me, <clears throat> it's crazy to me too, is that they have blinds here, and it's funny because the blinds wouldn't hang. Actually correct, because they have like a wire. So it would actually sit properly in front of these windows. So that's really, really cool. We got a bit more artwork right here. Looks like some Roman piece which is cool. I didn't even mention these sconces. Do you need sconces in a room like this? No. Do they have them? Absolutely they do. Then what's nice is we do have a fireplace right here, a little gas one. That just ties in this stunning sunroom. You can also walk right up to this very large uh, back porch here. Comment down below guys and let me know what do you think of this because this this might be one of the most uh, interesting things I've ever seen in an abandoned house. So let me know if you guys like it because I'm really in love with it. So this probably was another just living space. Nothing too too crazy. And then this may or may not have been another bedroom to be honest. When there's so many rooms like this in a house, it does become a little bit difficult to uh, identify what each room was used for, at least for me. You know, I'm not the most well-versed in every detail of every decade of every home that's built, <laughs> so. If I say something wrong, just let me know. I do not mind. So we're back in this insane front room here, but we're going to head downstairs and check out there. Love the curved staircase. Look, it's even the attention to detail here, like, you have these cutouts, and then you can see the ceiling. It just looks absolutely incredible. And even having detail like this on the trim here, that's very, very cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, like a little water fountain, maybe a little water feature here at one point. That would have been so nice. Would have loved to see this running. It's a really nice touch too when they actually finish the bottom of the staircase. It gives a very elegant look to me. We got this interesting little pattern going on here with the jetted out wood. They even got the stone back there. You would basically never see that, but they did it. Okay, so this looks like it was painted again. Might just be wallpaper, but it gives off the painted vibe. I don't know if this is a downstairs living room or what, but like this is, oh, this is definitely a party room. Got the bar over there. Little sunken party room. Wow, look at this fireplace. That's really cool. Same stone that they have upstairs. So I don't think this was for logs. I think they had something plugged in up here. I don't know what, but uh, it's kind of interesting. Looks like they used it uh, a fair amount too. And this is like a proper wood fireplace, which is nice. But yeah, this is a giant entertaining area, which is very cool. I don't know why it's recessed down so much, like it's sunken so much, but, you know, there's probably a reason behind it. It's a very cool bar. I wonder if this is original or not. Oh, that goes up. Hold some 
wine bottles there. <clears throat> it's a cool design. It's a very... I, I think the house is pretty well thought out in my mind. Cute little bar sink. I always love those. Looks like a veneer countertop. It's crazy that they have this as a built-in. Like The fridge is built into this design. So if you ever had to get a new fridge... You better hope you can find one that's exactly the same size. <laughs> you got maybe a little bit of tolerance to play with. Probably had their bottles of liquor just sitting up there on display. It's quite nice. I like the detail work too with the arches running through. It's very nice. Now before I forget, I see there's a hidden door over there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but just before I forget about it, look at this little secret door. I'll just go to the furnace room, that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, they must have had a, this bill to heat this house probably was so high. Okay, so we're going to continue that way, I guess. Looks like a teak built-ins from like the 60s. Teak veneer. Wow, look at, that. Look at how big this room is. Is this an entertaining room? I don't know. Sure looks like it. Maybe they had like a pool table and some, uh, like maybe a dartboard or something down here. Oh, this is gross. What is this? Oh, it's bad in here. Look at all the, uh, look at the debris. Wow, it's, wow, it's really bad in here. Look at the paneling. It's been absolutely chewed through. That's pretty surprising because the rest of the house has actually been in really decent shape. So I wonder why this is so bad. Yeah, so this is a very big, I would guess it's an entertaining area. The whole basement seems like it's an entertaining area. So we have a little area to get to the back here. This is just a little closet for some breakers, some fuses. This door back here leads out to the pool. It is locked, so we'll just leave it. You have a downstairs a washroom. Okay, so you got the pink sink, the kind of pinky marble tile. These feel very 90s to me. This style of tile, which is cool. The slides, I guess. Yep. I feel like that's just a good way of getting fingerprints all over everything. So what is this? Pink toilet. Nice, nice. And we got the shower, so this is only down here. Okay, you're stuck. Because we have a built-in hot tub. I forgot about this. So this is so you can get clean before going into your hot tub. They really, really liked bubbly water, eh? <laughs> but this is huge. This is like a party-sized hot tub. Which is nuts, too, because like the pool is literally right there. Quantum hot tub. Must be nice to be this rich, eh? I couldn't even fathom having a pool, really, like a un, like an in-ground pool, let alone a hot tub of this size in my basement. <laughs> I mean, good for them, though, man. That's very, very cool. 
Okay. So this is directly underneath the sunroom. We do still get the aesthetic of it. This is, I don't believe that this is an extension, but it almost gives the, the vibe because like it has windows and stuff. So it may have been an extension to this house at some point. Oh wow, look at this. Look at the sconce, look how cool that is. It looks like it's um, like an atomic style. We do have some condensation starting, but like it's cool that this opens. Not as grand <laughs> as the um, upstairs sunroom, but I mean, this lets in a ton of light still, so really can't complain. You could, you know, you can entertain for days here. It's just unbelievable, this place. Oh, we got some pretty bad decay starting here. Look at that. Wow. Same with this. It's really bubbling around the uh, light switch. That's just crazy. Okay. So it looks like we have another bath or bedroom right here. We do have another bathroom as well. Looks like the rooms got updated, not the bathrooms, which is interesting. Yeah, this one's pretty rough. Again, got another jacuzzi tub. They really, really like their jacuzzi tubs. First one that has a curtain still. Like even the mirror on this is amazing. Got the big old toilet. Really gross. Very interesting tiled room. Wow, these are very stuck. Because one one half is like inside and the other half is outside, so you can't open it. It's all wedge stuck. Don't know why. This is cool tiling as well. This like little border trim tile. I like that a lot. I like this like pine wall. This is cool. This is very mid-century looking. I love that. That's actually so nice. Oh my gosh. I really, really like that. I should do that in my room. That's really cool. Cause I've got my walls painted teal. This would be a nice accent. Probably be so expensive though. <laughs> so probably a guest room down here. Looks like there was a fire in this vent. At some point, possibly. That railing is rough. It's like copper. And it's like deteriorating. So this is just basement storage. There's lots and lots of basement storage. It's interesting that they have all the keys still left in the doors here. I wonder why they were locking stuff away in here. That's kind of creepy. Why would you need to lock stuff in here? Is this where you're keeping your valuables? <laughs> okay, so this is the pool stuff, I think. Is this the water filtration? Pre-charged water system tank. And then the water heater. I could see maybe wanting this locked off, but the other closets, Seems a little weird to me. Even in the uh, the sauna here, it's locked off. Oh wow! Wow, look at how big this sauna is. So we got a shower, obviously. Very big shower, first of all. The size of this door is absolutely insane. 
But look at the size of this. This is for an entire party. This is like a country club. This is probably the biggest sauna I've seen in the house. And like we've been to some very big houses. This is, this is insane. I know I say insane a lot guys, but it's just, it's just crazy. Like the people just have these kind of things and these amenities in their house. It's just unfathomable to me. Like I it just, it's not something that I have had really. So this is really interesting. Okay. Oh God. I just realized I almost missed this side of the house. There is more to see. <laughs> We do have another bathroom down here. This is probably the most modern bathroom of them all. Fairly modern mirror, not the same kind of sink, pretty new toilet. Um, interesting, interesting. Then I almost missed this. Of course, I gotta show you guys this massive laundry room that also has another stove. So this is probably a prep kitchen as well as a laundry room. Wow, I'm also glad I noticed this. Look at the red on these cabinets. That's unique, isn't it? Why is everything so stuck? Okay, well, everything is stuck in this house because it's probably shifted, but this design and the tile is really cool. We got the sink, we got a burner down here. It's either a prep kitchen or like a mother-in-law suite, but we got a dishwasher and a stove right there. Yeah, this is super cool, super unique. I love the red sink, that's very cool. Okay, now I think we got the entire house, guys. Just wanted to show you guys a little of the outside because there's this like, crazy spiral staircase here. Just look at the outside of this. Again, crazy entertaining house. The pool, all of the windows for the sunroom, all of that is just crazy. It's a big pool. You know, from the outside, it's actually pretty rough. It's not um, in that great of shape, unfortunately. All the tiling is broken. The pool's definitely seen better days. The little shed over there, the door's blown off. Even this, like, it's all just broken and kicked up. And you know, we were saying from inside, the sunroom here is sagging. They've literally put a structural beam in hopes to keep it up. If that wasn't there, it'd be simply over. But yeah, this is a great property. The vacuum's getting knocked down is just insane. Wait, wait, wait. I just noticed this. They have sinks outside. Why? <laughs> okay. And I'll show you, they have a little outdoor barbecue area here, which is nice. This is very cool. It's a cool birdhouse too, but yeah, that's interesting. Because this was like a little gazebo. That's completely caved in. Another little hangout area. Now nah, it's a pool house. Yeah, it's like a little pool house. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's hop up here quickly just to take a little peek. Quite a good view from the top here though, eh guys? This gives you a really good view of the property itself. It's a shame this is getting knocked down. All right, Nowhere Crew, thank you so much for watching this explore. I really do hope you enjoyed it. 
This is a very, very cool abandoned house. I definitely think this is a party mansion. There's too many things that lead me in that direction. Could be an artist's house, who knows, but they were millionaires and they had a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think of this absolute palace, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. I think we have about 15,000 to go, and it's November 1st right now, so if you guys could help me get there, that'd be absolutely amazing. But with that, I'm out. See you in the next one. Thank you.